by Brendan Cootie, NJ Advance Media for NJ.com Yankees Beat Reporters Brendan Cootie and Randy Miller discuss the futures of the organization's top prospects. They use Baseball America's top 10 ranking as reference. Number 7, RHP Jorge Guzman, was omitted since the Yankees have since traded him to Miami. Yankees Spring Baseball Matt Rourke, App SS Gleba Torres Cootie, come May 1st, at least May 1st, Torres will be the Yankees' starting second baseman. I think that's where his body plays the best, where his bat plays the best. A 21-year-old who's been playing against older competition and outperforming them. Could probably play shortstop right now but the Yankees have Didi Gregorius and don't need him to do that. He doesn't run well at all. But HES got a strong, accurate arm. I think HES the Yankees starting second baseman for 100 games this year, if HES healthy. Miller, Torres is one of the most intriguing young guys I've been around because of his talent and maturity for his age. I watched him his first few games when he became a Yankees prospect two summers ago. I watched him in the fall league. I watched him last spring. This is a guy who is a boy but plays like HES a man and it would not shock me if this guy plays himself into being in the running for rookie of the year, being a form off player this year. There will be a learning curve at second base. The expectations on him to be a superstar right away are probably too high. I don't know that helps going to hit for average. If you look at what HES done in the minors, HES been a .270 to .280 guy for the most part. But he is a guy that exceeds the sum of his parts because of his intangibles. He will be a leader. I think he'll end up being a very good second baseman. Florial.jpg file photo of Estevan Florial Kuti. Florial is a guy who does it all, except not strike out. He probably strikes out a little too much but HES basically tools on tools on tools, power, speed, arm. The Yankees reportedly would NT include him in any potential trade for Jarrett Cole. That speaks volumes as to where their talent evaluators see him in a couple of years. I think you'll end up seeing him as the Yankees' starting center fielder. They've been aggressive with him, with his promotion so far. I think they'll continue to be aggressive. I think he'll start the year at the AA. Maybe he finishes at AAA or even gets some kind of September call-up if the Yankees need, exclusively, speed. Miller, HE's from Haiti. It's on the same island of the Dominican Republic. One side is soccer, Haiti, and the other side is baseball. HE's turned himself into one of the best prospects in baseball. He is the center fielder of the future for the Yankees. This is a kid that, last year, the Yankees gave up Blake Rutherford, a first-round pick in 2016, because Florial is a better player. HE's a left-hander who does strike out a ton, but he has a lot of power and HES a guy who's playing center now and will stay in center. He runs like a center fielder. He covers ground, like a center fielder. He throws like a center fielder. He gets jumps like a center fielder. He'll probably be in double-A Trenton this year. He could be a fast mover. But because of Florial, I don't see Hicks ever getting a long-term contract with the Yankees.